Hey guys, what is up? It is Nose or Derek here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you another money making method. Another weird one that's not really skill related, it's just for anyone that really wants to make money and you don't really need any skills or any requirements. All you really need to do, I'll show you the map, is what we're, this is what we're doing. We're going to be buying um, pots of flour from uh, the shops, the food shops in Port Sarum. Uh, there's one in Port Sarum here, and also one in Taverly right in this the rose den so um what you need to do is have uh, the lodestones unlocked so before you start this make sure you have these lodestones because they come and help come in handy i mean uh so we're gonna be just going back and forth between like making chips and buying 28 pots of flour and ba banking them and uh so i'm just gonna get right into it and show you how to do it um Let's do a little test run, I guess. So what you want to do is just have a full inventory, a clean inventory. At best to have nothing on you to reduce your weight. Uh, you can have this ring of kinship to uh, bank in Damonheim if you want to. So yeah, we're start with Port Sarum. So let's go. Now there's only 500 of these pots of flour in store, and they don't respond very quickly. And so like, what you want to do is just do it every like day, maybe just do like a daily thing. Get like. A thousand pots of flour. So yeah, you want to tell it to this lodestone and to trade widen right here in the store. I kind of failed, but you have to open the door first. <laughs> Make sure the door is open. And so you trade him. So right here you see he has pots of flour, 500 of them. So you want to buy all of them. And if your run is like if you have a lot of run, uh, what you want to do to bank is just bank at the bank deposit here and then tell you back to the lodestone. Uh, because it is quicker than telling to Damonheim. If you don't have any run, then it's better to tell it to Damonheim so you don't have to walk. So yeah, what do you want to do to bank them? <coughs> Use the pot of flour on the bank deposit, press 4 to bank all, and then tell you back to the lodestone. It's a lot quicker than actually depositing and pressing bank all. All you have to do is use the pot of flour on it and then press 4 and then have that right clicked. I'll show you it again. So you want to trade widen, have your mouse over in this direction, in this area, 500 pots of flour, and there we go, use the pot of flour on the bank deposit box, you can spam 4 if you want to, and then have this like right clicked, so you just press that and then teleport, so you don't really waste any time at all. It's pretty simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, if you don't, let's say you're out of run and uh, you don't want to walk all the way to the bank deposit box to like get your run up, you can tell you to Damonheim and bank there and then tell you back to the Lodestone. So, like this. Like that. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, that's all you have to do for Port Serum. For Taverly, all you, like you're gonna be banking at Damonheim every single time because there's not really a bank deposit or anything close, so you have to use the Damonheim teleport. So I'll show you that. So I'm gonna use your home teleport. Go to Taverly. I'll show you who to trade. So it's just in this little bar here. It's gonna be the bar. This uh, Miss Sergeant Ramsey. I'm pretty sure that's all. Yeah, uh, no, it's not here. It's must be who the hell is it? I forget. Um, maybe it is here. Yeah, I'm just blind. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. You have to scroll down. There's the pot of flowers there. So you want to just buy them and then tell it back to Damonheim. Pretty simple. <laughs> It's not really complicated and it's pretty easy money because you buy the pot of flowers for 14 each and they sell them the GE I think for like 200 or something. I'll test it but like right now I'm going to be doing like like 5 minutes of it and uh, I'll like just fast forward it so you can see 5 minutes of me doing it and see how much money I made from it. So I'll just make sure I start at 112 and I'll see how much I have after 5 minutes so I'll, I'll be right
Alright guys, so I'm back. And uh so I just did uh this method for six minutes and fifteen seconds and I've got two hundred and fifty two pots of flour. So pretty much you can get five hundred in twelve minutes, which means you can do the a thousand, which is possible. Like that's how much you can do in like a few hours because you have to wait for the pots of flour to reset, so you can do a thousand in about twenty-five minutes. Uh, so we're gonna go to the Grand Exchange and sell these like we did for the bananas thing and see how much money we make in the 6 minutes and 15 seconds and then do the calculations. One thing you can do, uh, one thing you can do uh, if you have the Explorer's Ring is if you can recharge your run so you don't have to go to Damonheim so you can bank faster and keep the faster method even though Damonheim isn't that much slower. But uh, yeah, it's just one little thing you can do is uh, you can use the Explorer's Ring to recharge your energy. Um, but yeah, so we're going to the Grand Exchange, see how much these sell for. Uh, we bought, let's open up the calculator again, let's see this. So we bought 252 for 14 each. So we spent 3.5k on these and see how much we can sell them for. Alright guys, so we sold this this flower we, we bought uh, and we made 36.792k out of the 252 of them. So if we bring in the calculator and we do 252 times 14, that's how much we bought them for. And uh, we subtract that from how much we bought or how much we sold them for. So that's how much we made in 6 minutes and 15 seconds. So let's just say you times that by 4 because you can do pretty much 4 times that in a... Uh, in like one sitting like at a time because you have to wait for them to respond like I said so you just times that by four so in 25 minutes you're making 133k which isn't bad like it's about it's over 300k an hour so that's a uh, it's actually pretty easy and efficient money-making method I guess uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode of free-to-play money-making guides if you have any more that like you want me to talk about like if you have your own methods that you want me to make a video of just tell me them and uh I'll make a video of that. Uh, anyways, guys, that's all for this episode of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, see ya.